Welcome to our channel today. We're here with another amazing video. Today's video will bless you in no small way. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and also click on the notification button below so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. If you feel this video can bless someone, kindly join us to spread the gospel to the world. There are seven strange prayers to pray. I also want you to realize that it is written that the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Meaning that God is a God of the suddenness. Even if you don't understand these prayer points, pray with fire and with power. Power, sir. Preparing rain of shame to fall upon me. Can you shout it loud? Your time is up. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth Mak mak kate la kaya bo shendi la bo sotonda. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number two. Say everything disguising to destroy my portion. They are the destroyers. But they are disguising. So you don't really know that you are talking to a destroyer. You are eating with a destroyer. Everything. Say it with emphasis. Disguising to destroy my portion. Jesus. Yes. Something is up over there. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever is empowering my battle, can you say it loud? Wherever you are, there, in the name of Jesus. Then we pray. This is number four. <laughs> Say mighty testimonies that will take old testimonies away from my mouth. Manifest in my life in the name of Jesus.
Jesus name we pray number five Say, powers saying leave him he will not go far can you shout this loud can you shout it loud Jesus name we pray say battle son that wants me to be lost in the crowd can you say it with only anger you are alone in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray this is number seven <laughs> so glory that left my life in the night can you say it with only anger Father, we thank you for tonight. The second edition of Uncage Your Family program. We thank you for what you did here last week. And we thank you for what you are going to do today. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, as many families as are represented here, let every yoke, every burden, every curse, every evil covenant, every evil pattern, working against any family represented here, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. 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 Let your amen roar like thunder. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. As I welcome you to the prayer meeting of tonight. Tonight is a prayer meeting. But let me offer one or two explanations before the prayers will start. The wicked altars of your father's house. The wicked altars of your father's house. We read from the book of Judges. Find Judges after Joshua. Book of Judges. Chapter 6. Judges chapter 6. My trouble in the land. Just as there will always be trouble. Anytime you put God last and you put something else first, 
I was troubled in Israel. They were under the enemy's captivity. The enemy was punishing them harshly. The enemy was gradually driving them into hunger and famine. If they are making food, the enemy will take the food and turn it away. Brother Gideon was trying to make food. Hiding what he was doing. Then an angel came to him. Let us see how the angel saluted him. The salute of the angel tells us what God has written down. The salute of the angel. Judges 6 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Thou mighty man of valor. How? And Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? Where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But, but now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Can you close your eyes and raise up your right hand? Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. This is a strategic prayer. Powers of my father's house. Powers of my father's house. Hand me over to the enemy. Death. In the name of Jesus. Jesus then we pray Amen they were handed over to the enemy and the enemy was punishing them Gideon was a mighty man according to the records of heaven we didn't know what the problem was until the angel instructed him what to go and do so that he can repossess his destiny. Look at verse 25 of chapter 6 of Judges. Judges 6.25 And it came to pass the same night. The, that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath and cut down the grove that is by it. And build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock in the other place and take the second bullock and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove which thou shalt cut down. 
we now began to see that what demoted Gideon from a mighty man of valor to somebody who became a beggar was the altar the altar of his father's house let us be honest with ourselves our ancestors they did not serve the living God most of them practically serve the devil so there is practically any family we are right back behind there was no wicked altar what are altars altars are indispensable places of worship altars are places where sacrifices sacrifices are brought into contact with what is worshipped altar is an institution started by God but now polluted by the enemy altars bring a covering over the land altar determines the kind of spirit that controls the land and invariably they start controlling the people the altar is a place of sacrifice a place of dedication a place of covenant making a place of communion with spirits that's why altar can be positive or negative it's a place of slaughter to something that is worshipped a place of spiritual exchange a spiritual dining table where spirits are offered food a place of spiritual traffic whether good or bad most of the houses that were built many many years ago were built on altars practically all the marketplaces we have were built on altars. If the wicked altars of the father's house of Gideon had to be cut down before he can assess his destiny, you and I may not be able to do that physically again now. But we can spiritually cut down every idol cut down every wicked altar. Even as we are here now, back in where many people are born, the altar is still there. And they are offering sacrifices on that altar. And once an altar is established in the family, it brings a covering of darkness over the whole family. I'm praying for somebody here today. Every ancient altar, forgotten altars, hidden altars, buried altars, and it's working against any family here. With a time for them, let those altars catch fire in the name of Jesus. <laughs> altars are so important. Many persons built altars in the Bible. 
Noah built altars. Abraham built altars. Isaac built altars. Saul built altars. David built altars. Jeroboam built altars. Jacob built altars. Moses built altars. Balak built altars. Joshua built altars. Manoah, the parent of Samson, built altars. Samuel built altars. Ahab built altars. Elijah built altars. Uriah built altars. Manasseh built altars. Zerubbabel built altars. When the worship of the idol Baal took over Israel, the first thing that they did was to pull down the altars of Jehovah. To pull down that of God. That's why when Elijah got to the celebrated contest at Mount Carmel, after those priests of Baal have wasted their time, the Bible says the first thing Elijah did was to build the altar of the Lord they have thrown down. He, he understood the power of that altar. So, altar, the negative ones, is a special thief, robber. And a thief may come in several ways. A thief may take the advantage of your absence. A thief may take the advantage of your carelessness. A thief may utilize weapon of destruction against you. The altars. They are spiritual thieves. Stealing the stars of families. They steal the stars of family. This is a very serious matter. They are thieves. I remember that brother who started a poultry. He did not know that that land where he put the poultry there used to be an altar there. Nobody had dealt with that altar. They just put sand on top of it and buried it there. And he never knew that there was an altar on that land. The person who sold the land didn't say there was an altar. He started a poultry. And his chicken were dying like house flies. Dying like house flies until prayer started. We now discovered that there is, there is an idol on that land. An altar is there. And every year they sacrifice to this altar one chicken. One. Just one. Just one. So when this uh, wicked, uh, wicked altar and idol now discover that they now brought poultry. And now began to take more than one. And began to finish the chicken of the man. Wicked altars. The terribleness of wicked altars cannot be quantified. Are very terrible, and many families that are in trouble today, they got to where they got to because somebody handed the family over to an altar of darkness. 
and the altar of darkness is laying claim to the family. Deciding that nobody in this family must marry. Nobody must do well. Nobody must be rich. But the altar. The altar. Every altar has an agenda. They have supporting spirits. They have a fire. To know who to attack, who not to attack. They have a domain. They have weapons. And they have memory. You may, you may forget. They will not forget. They have a warehouse and an armory. The wicked altars. Many of the problems in families and communities. Please try and understand what I'm telling you here tonight. Many of the problems in our communities and families arose because of ancient satanic altars raised by our forefathers. Negative altars raised by our forefathers is a serious hindrance to prayers. Serious hindrance to people working with God. We need to deal with these altars to fulfill our destinies. If we don't deal with these altars, servants will continue to ride on our horses. Marriages will be collapsing anyhow. Money will be swallowed by the enemy. Powers of darkness will destroy more people. Winners will become losers. And so called believers have been pushed here and there like nobody. Ritual mothers will be everywhere. Try by wars because of these evil altars. These wicked altars can become altars of affliction. Altars that establishes a curse on a family and then enforces the curse. Many are battling with the ministry of wicked altars now. And they don't understand where the battle is coming from. It's so sad when you are here trying to pray by somebody in the village mentioning your name to an altar. So tonight, it is to these altars we want to deal with. And we continue it next, the last day of this program. It is important to pull them down. It is important to destroy them. Sometimes when these altars have been destroyed, the whole of the family is set free. You may say, but I don't know about any altar in our family. Yes, you may not know. An altar that was erected 50 years ago. 60 years ago, 70 years ago, there are some people I feel sorry for. Seriously, their parents go to altars to ask for them. So they give it, they take children from wicked altars. And now that's a serious problem. I'm praying that somebody here today will speak the words of destruction to every wicked altar that is troubling their families. Close your eyes, beloved. But you see, if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, you will not be able to deal with wicked altars. In fact, if you attack them, they attack you back. So you need to surrender your life to Jesus. It's very important, very, very, very important. 
So wherever you are, you want to surrender your life to Jesus tonight? So you can be a partaker of the blessings of tonight. Just find a way to the altar here. Very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here to surrender your life to Jesus. So if you are at the altar, I congratulate you. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. See the pastor over there. Just follow him for a few minutes. You can come back later and join us. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah! Oh, yes. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Alpha Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. I'm worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha Alpha. Alpha Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. I'm worthy of our praises today. Alpha Alpha. Papa Rachideke, Amen. Bring out your anointing oil now. And pour some anointing oil on your palm. Father, let this oil carry yoke breaking powers. Let this oil dismantle. Let this oil disgrace every plantation of darkness. Let this oil. Put your children here inside the envelope of fire. In the name of Jesus. Use that oil to rub your forehead aggressively. Not gently. Aggressively. That head is a symbol of your destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Continue rubbing it. You are standing in gap for your family. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. Amen. Put fresh oil on your palm now. Okay. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Use that oil to rub your two hands to represent the labor of your family. Rub your two hands with the oil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now bring out that list that contains your family names. Hold it in your hand. And I want to beg you, if you have love for your family, this is time to pray really hard. Really hard. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray this first prayer, if you are in this meeting tonight, and what is troubling your family is the spirit of untimely death, find a way quickly to the altar here and pray like a man or woman that is not ready to take no for an answer. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. We call altars of my father's heart. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Shanda Naribo Soponde Kaya Boshete. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every cycle of hardship in my family. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break it, 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 break it. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Say, ancestral vulture. Can you shout this loud? Feeding on the destiny of my family. Can you shout this loud and censor? Your time is up. Death. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Deal with the essential vulture. Makatele keye bo shende rabo sotonda. Nakatende rabo sopole keye bo. Jesus name we pray. Say every yoke hanging on my family tree. 
Can you say that again? Break! In the name of Jesus. Put your mouth, put your mouth, put your mouth. The yoke hanging on my family tree. Break, 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 break. name we pray with the loudest voice you can gather here tonight say my family hear the word of the Lord receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Them we pray. Say every generational problem in my family expire in the name of Jesus. you are here to intercede for your family. In Jesus name we pray. Evil dedication. Let your voice roar like thunder. Speaking against my family line. Break! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. He said decree. Name we pray. Say, so where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah, do a new thing in my family. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Bakapota Setela Kaya Boshendera Ba Nariboko Sopole Kaya Boshendera Taribo 
Bokatenda Rabasanda. Jesus name we pray I want your voice to be the loudest in this next prayer shout it loud say great physician Jesus Christ heal my family in the name Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray say every gathering of ancient demons against my family can I hear the sisters shouting this prayer I'm sure the sisters can do a lot lot better Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Scatter! Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You will now mention your family name. You will shout it loud. Olukoya's family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come be a part of the MFM International Headquarters social media family. Like and subscribe now. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.